I, in this video, we'll go over uh, the process of uh, capturing, editing, and integrating um, 360 car photography and some of the features that are available. Um, this is a uh, more of a quick um, presentation video that shows the um, uh, spectrum of uh, uh, potential features that Glow3D has. Uh, but we do have uh, more specific tutorial videos um, that you can see from our YouTube uh, channels. So um, the Glow3D app is a, uh, is a mobile application and a platform that includes desktop applications, Mac, Windows, as well as Android, iOS, as well as web uh, logging that will let you capture, edit, and share, or embed 360 uh, photography uh, um, of, of automotive. So when you open the app, um, this is what you will see is your homepage. Um, and uh, you would be able to click on capture. And once you click on captures, um, you can select automotive mode. Once you click select automotive mode, it brings the capture which has purple guidelines. And uh, the best is to always start from side of the car, which is the widest section. We recommend to use a gimbal, which gimbal is basically a stabilizer that helps as you go around the car, it creates more stability. So you click capture and you start going around the car. So the whole process of going around the car depends on the size. It's anywhere between um, 40, 50 seconds, to about two minutes if, if the car is much or the automo automobile is, is larger than a certain size. And once you come back to the, to the original position, you just press capture. If you're doing this on a scale and doing it multiple times, we recommend to mark the ground with, for example, a yellow rectangle. So people, um, the staff would be able to drive there to that point. And also after you do a few times and you figure out um, what would be the best circle around the car, we would propose to recommend to mark it on the ground and even paint it in a yellow paint and X mark, X mark the, the point where the, where the capture starts around, um, around the car. So this way, um, as the staff coming in or the newest staff, they will be able to really update it very fast and they will be able to start really capturing fairly quickly. It also uh, significantly improves the quality of the 360 photo. So hardware-wise, you just need the gimbal um, as well as um, our phone, and that will give you what you need to do. Uh, you could also use DSLR camera, and the way you would do a DSLR camera is to really capture a uh, 4K video going around the car, and later on you will be using our software to convert that video into 360 photo. You could also um, take individual uh, 2D photos that, for example, disclose a scratch or a dent or, um, or anything um, that you would like to add, like a feature. If you would like to add interior 360 photo, uh, you need to have an interior 360 camera as well as a monopod. So this is a tripod, what we recommend a monopod and we recommend the height to be more at the level that an eyesight would be if they're sitting in a car. If you go to glow3dapp.com and on uh, 360 car photography section, if you scroll down, uh, we are listing few recommendations in terms of um, 360 cameras. Uh, for the interior, we recommend to go with the 8K cameras. It could be anything. We also recommend to have a uh, have a um, LCD um, screen, so you will be able to um, basically uh, trigger the capture right from the camera, so you don't have to every time um, sync it to a phone or to an app. So this could happen as a complete independent uh, process. After you complete the 360, somebody can go put the camera and capture the interior 360 photo. So the whole process, I would say, takes about two minutes to do the exterior as well as interior. And um, this, this camera, this is specific brand has 8K, but um, I'm sure they're, they're, we're, we're not limited to these brands or any brand. As long as it is a, a 360 uh, camera, you will be able to uh, do the capture pretty well. So then um, you do the interior 360 and, and that's it. You could also, um, and then we come to the edit of the 360 photo. The edit of 360 photo can happen on mobile or on desktop. Um, and uh, we recommend desktop because it is faster and easier. And you will be able to use Mac, uh, Windows um, to do the work. And um, you could do adjustment. You could add that interior 360 photo to a platform. You could add hotspots. So you will be able to show um, different, um, different features um, or different deficiencies of the platform. And once you click Save, um, it will bring it to your homepage, which is something like this. 
this homepage, you will have access to it from web, from desktop, and from mobile. So once you click save, you will be able to have access to it. And now I'll go to the web version. So as you do these captures, we create a homepage, like an Instagram for you, where it has all these 360 photos. Um, when you do a capture, it creates something like this. This is a sample one with the background uh, image for 360 photos, which is one of the features that we have uh, created. Um, and uh, for example, a 360 interior um, that is um, that is added to uh, to uh, to the platform. Now I'll go to a uh, uh, to um, in here. You can create albums. These albums could be, for example, SUV cars or eight sitter cars or deal of the week car or literally any name and one car can be allocated into multiple albums for example it could be the deal of the week at the same time as an suv and at the same time as an eight sitter so without copying it we literally make it available on all, all of these albums and playlist inside each albums you will have um, different um, different items that you will be able to see and you will be able to move them around and see them from different angles the hotspot could be anything. It could be image, it could be videos, it could be links, audio, um, it could be disclosure of a den, for example. And the same thing happens with the interior 360 photo that you could assign, um, for example, a 2D photo or a video. For example, it could be a one minute video showing how the entertainment center works, for example. Or uh, you could even assign another 360 photo inside a 360 photo, basically, for example, this is an eight-seater car, so it would be a great tool to show more features. Or if it is, for example, a, uh, a, a larger vehicle, so you will be able to capture from different points and have a, some sort of a co continuous virtual tour um, going from one point uh, to another. Um, so as you, as you create these, um, we will um, add a, a custom button at no additional cost on our business plan that will say send to for example, in something like this, we will have uh, here, we are a partner with, with eBay, so people can embed it directly to eBay, but there will be a button here that says um, send to your inventory platform system. And once you click that, we'll ask you for the win number for the car. If you haven't um, put in the VIN number when you did the capture, here it will ask you, and then it will match it to all the other information, the 2D photos and everything you have sent previously to your inventory management, these gets added to it. So if the target platform um, that you would like to show the interactive version uh, could be your website. So this is a sample website where uh, we worked with the dealership to integrate a, uh, um, a 360 photo as a second photo of the gallery so that when people click on it, it will actually automatically loads it and people will be able to move around, basically do all the experiences that we looked at. Uh, they will be able to see the interior 660 photo. And in, in, in addition to that, we have a 360 virtual tour button here that somebody can click and, and in, it will load the same um, experience with all the interior 360 photo and everything else that that the discussion was um, was made. And you could add a PDF file, you could add a video file. So it basically creates a complete virtual tour um, of the car. Um, when you are sending it to inventory management platforms, there are three levels of integration. The first integration, which is this, if that platform supports 360 photo, or for example, for your own website, where we can do the integration, or your IT team can do the integration, or we can work with the company that you guys have purchased a template for your uh, website to do the integration. Uh, we will take care of that. There is no cost for that um, other than the other than the, the original purchase. Um, if and um, if the platform does not support the exact embed like what I showed you, we will add a dynamic link that when people click, it will open a uh, white label link to uh, to a full screen version of that 360 photo. And even if that is not supported as some platform do not support dynamic URL links, then we will generate an automatic video. And if you don't already have a video for that car, we will replace that um, spinning video. The way it would be, it would be a video that shows um, the car is spinning, and then it will also show um, the interior 360 photo, something like, like this, it will show it, and then it will launch it to the platform. 
Um, the other place where you can use this is uh, what we call um, 360, um, 360 Virtual Showroom. So this platform is going to be approved by Facebook very soon. We're expecting it to be in the next day or two. On uh, depends on when you're watching this, it might be already approved. Uh, so we're hoping that by early February um, 2021, we'll have this feature available and uh, it will add a second tab on your Facebook page where when you click, it will embed any URL. So it could be one of those albums, for example, Deal of the Week, or it could be your entire um, album of pages. And, uh, and here it will only show, it will only show cars that you mark them public. So if there's a car that you, um, uh, that you mark the private or unlisted, it will not show here, which give you flexibility of what you want your user to be able to see. They could also go to different albums. They would be able to come back. They will be able to click on 360 photos and they will be able to move them around. They would be able to, uh, zoom in, see more features. Um, and, uh, and, and go from one, one item to, to another. Um, if, if there, if, if it has the interior 360 photo, they will be able to interact with it right from the Facebook. And this is a great tool because it will, people will spend time on Facebook when they have some extra time, and this will give them the ability to interact with these, uh, virtual tool right from the Facebook. And um, we are, we have a button here that you could assign to each car, which is a URL. It could be any URL. And once people click on it, it will take them uh, to the actual uh, website where they will be able to ask to make a, make a purchase. And it is the actual listing. So, um, so this is a great way to bring people from Facebook to your uh, show, virtual showroom and then from the virtual showroom, take them all the, all the way to the product page where where they can make the, where they can make the actual purchase. And this would include even hotspots that could be audio, could be video or anything, um, anything alike. So we have the virtual showroom, uh, we have the actual embed and integration to your platform. And then there is an actual platform where you will be able to see, um, all the products that you have already, uh, already captured. So in terms of pricing, our method is not a monthly or yearly, but we have a capture base. So we'll charge you every time you do the captures. We have multiple plans that each one has a feature. Um, the ones that I showed you mostly are in business plans, uh, which for example, the virtual showroom that I explained, the white label links, um, that this white label links is uh, what you can post to Facebook. So if you have a new car that is going out, you could actually post it to Facebook. And as people click on, it will open a white label. The white label has nothing to do with Glow 3D. So your competitions will not know that you're using the platform. And it's very important for people. We have the image logo that is only available um, on business account. And we have the image background. That is, this image could be anything. It could be um, your brands, uh, your banners, your information here. And like the sample that I show you, there will be a link here that once people click on it, it will take them to the actual product page then where, where they will, be, they will be prompted to take action. So you will be able to also uh, do it here, or you will be able to have it, um, in, in the virtual showroom. So the image watermark, as I showed the background, um, replacement, um, as well as advanced analytics, which literally shows you not only how many times people have viewed these 360 photo, it also shows how long, um, um, the people have spent time, which is basically how much attention our platform has helped you gain, how, how much additional attention on your cars, our platform has, has helped you to gain. Um, so our business plan is 2000 for 2000 capture. It capture is basically a, a complete. 360 virtual tour, which includes all those frames for exterior, the interior 360 photo, the hotspots that could be a video photo, all of that constitute one, um, one capture. So basically you could say $1 each car, uh, listing or each car that, um, that you guys do the capture and post it to your platform. There's no expiry on these. So let's say if it takes you three months to use these 2000 captures, or it takes you 10 years to do this, uh, 360 capture. Um, it would, uh, it would be the same, um, and you will not, uh, lose, um, any capture opportunity. And once you reach your maximum capture, if you decide not to do anything and do not top up, we will, you will not lose 
your previous models, all your existing models will stay forever unless you decide to delete those models through the accounts. Um, but if you would like to continue, you can add and purchase another top up and purchase another 2000 and it continues to work. We have no limitation on, um, let's say two dealership using, you know, the same accounts. Um, uh, as long as you're comfortable on sharing the username and password, so you'd have to understand the risk associated to, to that. Having said that, each account can only accept one um, uh, image logo and one text logo. So if, for example, there are two different brands, it may not make sense to use the same account for both of them. Plus, cost-wise, it would be literally the same. So many people would, would prefer to have two separate accounts, two separate businesses. So the invoicing, the logos, the management, and all of that uh, would be completely managed and, and, and be separate. And uh, we also have two months full refund guarantee for car dealerships. The way it would work is that um, we will do all the integration process. We'll do all the communication with the inventory management. And if for any reason um, we are not able to integrate it the way you were expecting it, or even we could do all of that for, for, for any reason, no question asked, you change your mind, you will receive the full refund. Um, so the idea is that um, if you like to, do, if you like what you saw and you would like to do this integration, there is no risk for you. Um, you could see it in complete action, and then and then you could you could decide not to go proceed with it, or you could you could just leave it the way uh, the way it is. We did this to to completely eliminate any risk for uh, for any of our potential customers. And, um, and that's uh, basically wraps up my, uh, my presentation. If there is any more questions, I would be happy to answer. If you would like to proceed, go to the next step would be that you could complete your purchase from our pricing from glow3d.net pricing, or you could go to our, our main website and go to pricing and make the, make the purchase from here. Once you did the purchase, you can contact us. So you could contact me directly at Sean at glow3d.com. And, um, and we will start two process. One process would be that we'll work with you and your team uh, to train them and set up everything that is needed in terms of 360 uh, photography. And parallel to that, uh, we will work with your inventory management software um, to complete the integration. This process typically takes between two to four weeks uh, to have you up and running. And after that, you have about a month. And if needed, we could extend that, that two months up to three months if there are delays on the inventory management platform. Sometimes um, they're backlog and they don't respond as quickly as we would like them to be. But the whole goal is that you will have um, a complete um, month, complete four weeks to see the whole operation in action, to see how much time you have to spend, how much attention you're getting, what is your return on investment. And if you don't like it, you could cancel and you get a completely, the whole full $2,000 back. In terms of invoicing, we would be, we can accommodate uh, local uh, funds, you would still do the same thing purchase. Uh, but then if you are using your local credit cards to make the purchase, it will be converted into um, your local amount on your credit cards. And you would be uh, send an email to us with the actual amount that the credit card company charge you in your local currency. And we'll be happy to develop a uh, local currency invoice based on that. It will increase a little bit billing on our side, but we'll be happy to do that for you if this is something that you need to do uh, for your accounting and, uh, and tax purposes. This basically concludes my presentation. I would be happy to answer um, any question you might have. You can send it to me at uh, sean at glow3d.com and uh, I would be happy to answer. And Sean is S-E-A-N at glow3d, G-L-O-3-D.com. Thank you and have a good day.